Hotel Transylvania Transformania. Well, this is it, everyone. The finale of Hotel Transylvania. And to be honest, the, the, what, the times I have watching these films, they are quite good. And sometimes okay at times. Well, as for the films, we have the first one about Hotel Transylvania, the first film where it was about a human entering a hotel but tries to make sure he's disguised as one of the monsters just so he won't get caught as a human. The second is about about Dracula trying to like make his grandson into a vampire. The third film is about a yacht, a yacht, and that's about it. So. Whenever they release the new one, things get from like good to just okay. And then there's the fourth film, which was meant to be released in theaters, but due to the pandemic, it's now on Amazon Prime. So now that we're in the finale, how is the finale of Hotel Transylvania? If it could be good or bad? Let's find out. The story. So, the story is quite strange since it mostly acts like a cartoon more than a movie, but I can't say I hate it either. But what this most movie brings out than the focusing on the story itself is bringing out the comedy. And yes, there are some moments where I do get a bit of a chuckle, or a laugh, maybe. But as always, the story is about Drac and the gang and Johnny trying to find the crystal to change them back into original forms because they were changed from tr switching their roles from like a monster to a human and a human to a monster. And for some reason, this kind of brings out something similar to the first Hotel Transylvania. I mean, yes, the story is predictable, but the biggest part of it is that Yes, it does similar to Hotel Transylvania, but it looks into the bond of Drac and Johnny, where they try to go on an adventure to get themselves back to normal, and also have to like choose some emotional scenes for Drac to accept who Johnny is. But to be honest, that was already done in the previous three films, which is mostly used because this is probably the weakest story I heard from Hotel Transylvania. I mean, yes, the story is predictable, but it's not the worst story that Sony has ever made. The animation. You know, the strangest part about this film is the animation kind of looks strange. I mean, yeah, sure, it, the rest of the animations after the first one got a bigger change because of its budget. But honestly, they keep on getting more cartoonier and crazy and wilder as to keep getting released. And that is a good example of the fourth film. The character animation becomes quite very cartoony and goes very, very wild. Not just like normal wild, but over the top wild as suits for a cartoon more than a film. But the designs, the character designs do stay true to the original films. Like some of the other characters, like Drac, Johnny, and more, but they sometimes kind of look plain and doesn't seem like they are the actual characters we all know and love. But moving on to the backgrounds, they do have a good role in this film because they do have nice ones, like with the trees, the crystal cave, I think that's what it's called, and the hotel himself. And it also does work with the textures that does make it look a bit. I don't know if it does make it realistic, it's just my opinion, okay. But yes, I know this animation is quite wild compared to the others, but at least like all I can say now is that at least they try to make it look a good looking animation. The characters. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know this by now. Is that some of the characters really did got replaced like Adam Sandler and Kevin James. With Drac, he has now been because ever since then throughout the franchise, he actually does have a good role as Dracula. Because Adam Sandler does make some good dialogues in the drag whenever he has a motion with his daughter. I mean, Mavis, not the real life one, okay? Understand that. Understand that. As for Kevin 
James, which is also replaced by Brad, to be frank, he does quite have some good voicing. But as for Dracula's character, nothing much quite changed about him in the fourth film. Because basically it's a similar role from the first, like I said, about trying to like, to like, flipping hell, I forgot it right, it's to like, accept who Johnny is. And by now you can already tell why. They keep on repeating that. As for Johnny, he's the secondary character of the film who turns himself into a monster so he can get the hotel for him and Mavis while the old vampire retires. Yes, I know throughout the films he can be annoying, but I don't quite mind him since he's voiced by Andy Samberg. If I got his name right, I don't think I did, but I'll look that up there. But he's rather an okay character in my opinion. Not the worst, but still okay. As for the other characters, their roles in the film are quite minimal at best. Well, there's Erica, Mavis, and Van Helsing trying to discuss about the situation about Johnny and Johnny and Dracula are in. And for like Dracula's buds, like just like Amazon's friends, they are mostly used as comic reliefs. Which doesn't quite make much for the film as and try to deal as humans, but to be honest, not very much of the fans appreciate. Like I know even though most of you guys already know that people really hate Griffin's design. As for the characters in this film, they're like okay, to be honest. Not as good as the first three films, but just okay. As a result, Hotel Transylvania Transformania is kind of a mix. The story has not much to do, and the characters only don't have much of a purpose in this film. But I guess I, would, I wouldn't lie if I would say the comedy does give me a bit of chuckles, and the animation does stay true to the re recent films. But on the, the reason why Sony did make this film is just so they can work on other future projects just like they did with other great films they already done back then like with Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Mitchell's vs the Machines and even Vivo. So it's quite women how how they're gonna do in their future projects and see how Sony Picture Animation will do better. Well at least that uh, well I guess it's time to say goodbye to Hotel Transylvania we did have some laughs, and I would say that you guys were a good franchise, and that won't end up like the next Ice Age. Speaking of which...